All right, here we go. Quick run through of my uh, sanctuary settlement build. Starting off at the main entrance, I uh, chopped off like four of the buildings and put a uh, border wall around all of them so everybody's a little bit more safe. I'll just start off with that. Over here, we have um, our mortar manned by our one single minute man that we have out here. And then we got a guard shack protecting him. Usually a guard is posted up here and out looking over the city and able to see the great concord out there. And I also have a little spotlight that uh, overlooks the main uh, walking path to Vault 111 because that's one of the main uh, spawn points for some bad guys. And then uh, as you can see over there, got a little Radstag cage. Uh, I still need to hook that up to power, but when I do, hopefully it functions as intended. So we've got two guard stands at the main gate, and then we have another secondary stand that uh, protects the crops over there, and a couple guns mounted up as well. So inside of his little guard shack, he's got a weapon storage, just some regular storage for grenades, and a footlocker for our soldier and a little seat when he gets tired. All right, opening up the main gates. We'll start at the very front and slowly work our way to the back of the of the compound, but this is what you see when you first come in. We've got our little cooking station over here to the right and a little light to uh, light up the pot when it's dark out and you might not be able to see what's going on in there. Coming over to the backyard of what used to be our house pre-war is the main generator powering everything with inside of the walls. And then I also was playing around with uh, the machinery and decided to build a food processor. So this is processing some uh, preserved Instamash and inputting it directly into that storage unit right there. So our settlement is more than good on uh, food. I've got plenty of mute fruits scattered around here to decorate the place as you can see. Starting in the first building we've got over here. It's not fully renovated on the inside yet, but uh, you get the idea of what it's supposed to be. It's a doctor's clinic, so you can come in here and the plan is to have somebody posted back here who's a seller, a merchant, where you can uh, buy all your medical needs whenever you uh, come in here. And then along with that, we've got a little bathroom. Nothing too crazy going on in there. Some storage. And like a sick room for anybody that uh, isn't feeling too good and wants to come in here and seek some help and get some rest. And we also have some medical posters too. And just for the sake of doing it, because I wanted to, I uh, redid Sean's room and kept it basically as a pretty standard room, even though it's inside of the clinic because it's Sean's room. And I thought it was cool. All right. Now this is the main building that everybody usually uses in this settlement because it's got all the workshops in it and I kept it that way. Extended out these exterior walls for this like carport so I could have some storage, some extra storage. We had Mama Murphy sitting over here. Um, however, she overdosed on chems and is no longer with us. The longs aren't happy with me because of that, but uh, yeah, anyway. So we got all our weapons over here and plenty of power armor. Not full suits, pretty mixed and match, but they all still look pretty cool. I guess those are full suits. Then more weapons and whatnot scattered throughout, along with my magazines and a little kitty. I use this house mainly just for people to sleep in, so it's like storage and sleep, and that's about it. So we got plenty of beds down out here in this main like living space, and then this is what I would call my room. 
So I've got my armor and guns, nice little bed for me, and just some other storage boxes and shelves and whatnot. Back room's got more beds as well as a scavenging station so we can get some scrapyard junk to be able to build more in here. And then this is our makeshift bathroom with a barber station in there. I'll probably throw some more decorative stuff, maybe a shelf or counter or something in, in, in here as well, but I was running out of space on my build bar, so kept it pretty simple. All right, so now if you come out here and around and in between these two buildings, this is where our main farm is in the back back there so we got a trash can we got uh, our ingredients and our food stored in this ice container and some pretty cool looking nuka cola and baseball posters up on top of the roof there you can see there's a pillory as well so if anybody's been been bad i'll lock them in up there and they get to overlook everything still so they get a pretty view when they're their heads trapped this was like one of the very first things I built up inside of this settlement, so I don't really need it anymore to be aiming within the walls, but I just kept it because I thought it was cool. So like I said, coming around here, we've got another guard shack, or guard stand I should say, with a turret looking over. Didn't really build too, too much out there yet, but that might change depending on a uh, how much more I can put down because like I said that build bar is pretty full already and all of my settlers are in vault suits whether it be vault 88, 111 or what is it, 114 they're all wearing vault suits except for the guards I've got the guards in uh, army fatigues all right another guard stand here's another little side door you can come into but we got another guard stand overlooking the water and we got a dock out there that I built along with a water purifier so we can get some clean water pumped into this uh, settlement. One more over here along with like another little safety net wall that I put down. And then here's the view from the inside of this guard shack that I had put down. Oh. All right, now coming back around here. Turns out the institute's destruction. Here's this main wall. See, like I said, I got my guys usually in the army fatigue. She's a little more decked out than the rest because I just slapped my old armor on her at one point. So she's looking pretty I'm sweet. Looking for trouble, I hope. <laughs> of course not. And then in here is like just a little chill spot for them. Whenever they're not standing up there, they're able to come down in here and enjoy the pretty string lights and some seating along with a bed and a little locked safe under there as well. So right here we've got our uh, warehouse, our fun house warehouse, I suppose you could call it. We've got some beverages in here for them. Again, just something for to boost the happiness a little bit in this Nuka Victory machine I need. For when I do go to Nuke World, I have to do something for an achievement. Uh, but anyways, got some slot machines over here. No smoking. It's not Vegas. Got a chemistry station, a couple more pommel horses, and a work bike. Just general things to make them happy. And then I also slapped down another scavenging station just to uh, have the settlers assigned to something. And got my last two suits of power armor here. And I think that's just about it for for this one. I didn't go too, too crazy because I didn't want it to be super huge. And like I said, my build limit was already cut off kind of anyways. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and say goodbye to Trash Can Carla now.